Welcome to MarcusG.TV. I'm Chef Marcus Giuliano. I'm a chef on a mission. I'm having a lot of fun on this mission. I'm animal on several missions currently. Um, Truth in Menu is one of my big missions, truthinmenu.com. Uh, my Chef on a Mission blog.com, which is a lot of health related stuff on there. Um, you can go to MarcusG.TV and see all of my missions as a chef. I'm very passionate about the work I've chosen, and it shows, and I like to share it. So I'm doing a little series on the 50 biggest mistakes that I've seen restaurant tours make. Little short videos to offer a little bit of insight. And here we go. We are on step number 42. And we're talking about the last two trends have, the last two mistakes have been not following the trends, okay? If you haven't noticed, the craft beer revolution, okay, and the independent distillery revolution are here. They are here and there's tons and tons of options. People are sophisticated now about what they're drinking. Okay, we're dealing with people that are upscale drinkers. Experiment with different brands of wine, beer, spirits. You have to experiment with them. And you really have to be knowledgeable too about a lot of these. So get, get make sure you know your facts and offer them. You know, Budweiser does not need any more of our money. These big massive conglomerates do not need any Guinness, um, Diageo, they don't need any more money. Give the money to the small. You talk about supporting local, here's your chance to really support local. Every state makes beer, every state makes wine, every state, you know, not every state, but I'm sure most states, last states make spirits. They're coming from all over. Support a small distillery, brewery, winery in your state today and tell your customers about it. I mean, it's just one of the best things we've ever done is our bar set up like that. It's been a phenomenal, phenomenal return on investment. People respect this. People love it. You know, it's for me, when I go out to eat, it sucks sitting there looking at a bar that I can go walk, walk to a, a big discount beverage store and see everything like on the, sh on the floor stack there. Then I'm looking at the bar. I'm like, this is it's no fun. There's no interest in it. For me, I, I want the experience. I want the story. I want all that stuff that I've been talking about all along. So, Chef Marcus Giuliano, get out there and experiment. Ask your salespeople for new things. Ask your customers what they want to see. I know a lot of restaurants have switched to a craft beer program that has been, they've gone gangbusters with it. Gangbusters. It's here. It's a trend. It's here to stay. Thanks for watching. So I've been running my restaurant, Aroma Time, for 10 years in the Hudson Valley. I used to be one of those restaurant owners that was married to my business, couldn't leave. The restaurant wouldn't be open if I wasn't here. I didn't trust anybody. I turned everything around. I've been here 10 full years, like I've said. I've defeated all the odds. I opened up this fine dining restaurant, upscale restaurant, in a small, depressed community. Um, I've learned a lot. I've made a lot of mistakes, and that's how I can confidently say I can help you. I can switch that mindset. I can teach you uh, tips and techniques that I've learned by doing it myself and then masterminding with some of the top restaurateurs in the country and marketing geniuses. It's been a great 10-year run. I don't regret a single part of it. Now the thing is, I work on my business. I don't work my business which is a totally different thing. I can teach you how to do that. It's so simple with the tips and tools and techniques. Um, owning a restaurant can be a lot of fun, and I want to show you how to have fun in your restaurant. So please, send me an email.